finally, there is a mainstream media article in Tech Central that actually explains why many of the coal-fired power stations within the Eskom fleet are actually failing. And they discuss here something that I've spoken about at length before this channel became double this when I spoke about issues with regards to load shedding and what is happening in the Eskom stations. Since 2017, I spoke about boiler tubes that are failing. And in this article, they're going into quite a bit of detail about the chemical process and why boiler tubes are failing and why it cannot be physically maintained. Something I've spoken about at length. And this article from Tech Central, and you'll find a link in the description below the video as well as in the first comment. Eskom has stated that boiler tube failures are the leading cause of unavailability of power generation and why. So I'm not going to cover this entire article, but you can read this article, go through it. If you're not technical, ask a friend to explain it to you. But it says for the time being, at least coal-fired boilers remain the backbone of Eskom's electricity generation fleet. And coal-fired boilers work by boiling water to produce high-pressure steam that is then used to spin a turbine. Very straightforward. To do this, water is pumped at high pressure through boiler tubes that are heated by a coal-fired furnace to produce high-pressure steam. This combination of extreme pressure and temperature places severe stress on these tubes and over time they corrode and fail. So there are chemical processes involved here and this is explained in this article for the first time. Sometimes accelerated by the presence of corrosive chemicals in the hot furnace gases. And they're going to detail in this article to explain how bad quality coal causes these problems. So besides bad quality coal uh, being low in calorific value and not actually giving you the desired output, the other thing that it does is actually causes the boiler tubes to fail. And this is why I said in my seven point Eskom stabilization plan that we need to rush good quality coal to the Eskom stations immediately. This article makes this clear and it's actually fascinating that these things are starting to come out into the open now. It's really awesome that it's happening. But here they say that Eskom set itself a target of one tube failure per year per unit. But as of 2021, we're averaging 2.3 failures a year. So tube failures are a huge part of the problem. It's not something you can repair or maintain. You can only have proper chemistry and that you can have through having good quality coal. The tubes within a boiler are put there for the lifetime of that boiler and if they get a leak you need to cut through all the other tubes that are around the leaking tube and then repair that tube weld all the other tubes back in. So it's a huge process that takes time and at any given time at the moment in the Eskom fleet there are many of these units that are down due to boiler tube leaks. When the boiler springs a leak, the unit has to be shut down immediately as you cannot have this high pressure water spraying into the furnace area. Thank you very much for watching this video. I please want you to go and read this article and go through the detail. I don't want to take up too much of your time. This is something I've discussed at length and I'm really glad. I want to thank Tech Central for going into the detail of sulfidation and how sulfur can actually eat into these boiler tubes and how bad quality coal has high sulfur content. Thank you very much for watching this video and please remember to share it with your friends and family.